Doing science isn't showing up in a classroom and listening to a lecture and filling in a sheet of paper. Doing science involves um, doing creative work. It involves making decisions. My name is Joseph A. Gardella, Jr. I'm the John and Francis Larkin Professor of Chemistry at the State University of New York at Buffalo, and I direct the Interdisciplinary Science and Engineering Partnership with the Buffalo Public Schools. The mission is to improve student uh, understanding of science uh, through uh, improving the, the resources, the human resources that, that deliver that. So improving the teacher's knowledge and the uh, human resources to help those teachers implement. The ISEP program uh, started in two schools, one uh, K to 8 school where we focused on fifth through eighth grade and one uh, college board school which runs from fifth grade through high school. In 2011 when we were awarded the, uh, the funding from the National Science Foundation we were able to expand from those two schools to 12. Buffalo is the now fifth uh, poorest city in the United States. Um, the schools have very high needs, low graduation rates, every kind of measure in the current discussion about uh, educational performance of students. Yet we know in every one of these schools there are students that are, you know, capable and, and are, are not necessarily surrounded by the resources to help them perform. In a, an urban school district, we sometimes struggle with kids coming to school. They have a lot of different responsibilities at home. Uh, and we need them here so that they can learn, they can graduate, and one of those draws is something that is a little out of the ordinary. Instead of just sitting in a classroom for six or six and a half hours a day, here they're up, they're moving, they're participating, uh, and again, taking control of their own learning. It's uh, one of the first ventures into a true interdisciplinary program. That is to say, what we're doing here is um, in the past has been to separate science from other disciplines, including things like engineering. What we're doing here now, instead of keeping one in one corner and one in the other, we're bringing them together and showing uh, uh, the students how these uh, subjects interrelate. Investing in physics in this school is seen as central to drawing students in to seeing the relevance of the auto technology class. So experiments are designed that have directly to do with understanding why, why are cars shaped the way they are? Why do designers do it that way? And what does it have to do with the performance of the automobile? Some people just think you go fast just because you go fast. That's not the answer to everything. There's always got to be a scientific explanation for something or some sort of explanation. And I think that physics really helps you understand exactly the nitty gritty of it, what you've learned, what makes the car exactly go fast. It's not just the brake and you just go. It's not just that. There's much more things complex to it to learn. Physics is just different to me because like, it's something that I, I never experienced. I don't, I don't know nothing about it, and I love learning something new. Later on in life, you might need this, like, in college. If you take physics, like, you're going to need to take that over, and what you learn here, you can, you can expand your learning experience. The graduate students who work side-by-side side with, with teachers will learn things about teaching that they would never learn in a university setting because they're in a completely different setting. We're hoping that that um, really improves their communication skills in terms of how do you communicate complex ideas you know, at, at different levels. And I think it really engages their interests, and that's, that's what we really want to do. We want to captivate their interests at an early age. Um, if we can get the children or the students asking questions at an early age, they're more likely to investigate their questions, and they can do it in a theoretical or practical way. What I want every student is to feel is, I, I can be successful at doing science, and my own, my own background and my own interests and my own ability to ask questions are important. They're relevant. And, 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 and it makes a difference in um, the other things I do in my education and gives me a passion for thinking about a career.